Concerns deliberations were made, and far reaching decisions and resolutions were made in the following order. Demand for release of political detainees. NEC noted with great concern the high level of intimidation, harassment, conspiracy, condescending and arrest of any persons or opposition political parties. This has been the latest trend in the government activities, which shows lack of tolerance on the part of government for any persons or group opposed to any of the anti-people policy administered by the government. Interestingly, the same people in government came into power through the, the people's struggle, of which they fully involved and even sponsored some of this particular struggle. Some of the notable struggle include the Save Nigeria group in 2010, Occupy Nigeria 2012. We therefore demand for an unconditional release of some of our comrades, Abu Jalingo and Omoyele Showere and others. An injury to one is an injury to all. This continuous arrest is, is damaging to the image of the country and our nascent democracy. Proportional representation as part of the review of the 2019 general election. Next observe with dismay with the 2019 election, which was conducted with a lot of manipulation and heavy use of money to buy vote against genuine interests of the people. The election was full of inconsistencies, use of talk to intimidate voters, ETC. This is totally unacceptable and condemnable. We call on INEC to serve its planned registration of political parties, but to overhaul its internal mechanism for effective performance, especially in the red flag areas, which are identified long before any election. It is our sincere hope that the upcoming Kogi and Bayasa state governorship election will show remarkable improvement over the last general elections. In respect to the above, NEC resolved that the idea of proportional representation should be included in our electoral act, where if a political party wins certain percentage in a general election, that party is automatically in government. This will enhance inclusive government to encourage also the electorate that when they vote, that they are sure that their vote will count. And the issue of money, use of money, will be completely eradicated, or at the same time, encourage participation and party ideology will reign supreme. Insecurity. Next, condemn in strong terms the level of insecurity in the country. It is so alarming that nowhere is safe. Nigerians are not sure of getting to their destination whenever they travel until they arrive to that destination before they express a sigh of relief. It is recorded that people are abducted even in their homes. Farmers negotiate with bandits to, to the tune of 15,000 naira per person before they can go out to farm. With ethnic crisis from one area to another, today is Taraba and Benue state consuming life almost on a daily basis. Tomorrow is another. Boko Haram in the northeast sacking and killing people in villages and towns. Kidnapping and killing in the south-south, southeast, southwest. According to a report by Daily Trust on 1st September in, in 2019, over 70% of crime affecting all sectors of the economy. People are not safe in workplaces, even in their homes. The country is totally unsafe. Nigeria cannot continue in this manner. The worst of all is that some security personnel are conniving with criminals to carry out their nefarious activities. Nigerians are losing faith in this government on a daily basis. In the light of the above, NEC in session demand for a complete overhauling of our security operative. The service chief have tried their best. Now it is time, to, Mr. President, to let them go. Place new persons with fresh ideas on, to secure and protect the life and properties of Nigeria. Hunger in the land. 
the economy. Next, observe with dismay the level of hunger in the land. Practical examples are available everywhere, everywhere. You cannot stand in a public space for two seconds without someone asking you for assistance, for money, just to eat and feed his family. Nigeria has been turned to the capital of poverty and in the mix of plenty. In reflection to 2015, fuel was sold at 87 naira per liter, now 145 naira. A bag of rice was sold at 88,000 8, naira, now rising to 20,000. The dollar was 165, now 360. The rate of employment, according to Nigerian Bureau of Statistics, stand at the last quarter of 2018 to 23%. The figure is enough to remove any government in power in any developing country. I intend to travel to Kaduna, but I'm so scared, even though I drove myself, I'm so scared of moving from here to Jerry. If you go to the train stations today, the level of people that you will see trying, struggling to get a train to is unbelievable. So the level of insecurity is high. If we have a service team of service chiefs that have been there for quite a long time, and yet we are not getting anything new, and there's virtually almost no improvement in the level of the security, the truth about it is that we've had a lot of information where some security officers have been alleged to have been in corrupt practices of huge sum of money. Nobody can account for them. We are also worried about the state of the security operatives who are on the streets. When you go from here to Kogi or Lokoja, you see quite a lot of policemen on the streets. And then when you go from here to Kaduna, you see quite a number of them. What is the welfare package of this particular individual? How well have they been taken care of so that they can be sure when they risk their life, they know they are doing it for a just cause? These are something that we need to look at. They are human beings like us. They stay in the sun and rain and water. Nobody. It's only when you give them stipends, some of the people that give them spend, which of course is being called bribe, that you energize them. So it is appalling. We need fresh ideas. The service chiefs have done their best. We need new ways in which we can curb this particular level of insecurity. Last, uh, about a few days ago, in my house, they came and stole a borehole engine, which cost less than 20,000 naira, for them to take a time to have removed. And who are these? Things? They are young boys and girls. Probably they have nothing to eat, even though that is not to justify crime. But then we must get to the root of this matter, and the government must be held. Successive government, past and present, must be held responsible for this particular series. Specific on the issue of economy and security, it's an urgent situation that we need. New, you, you agree with me, an update and new ideas have come up into crime rates in Nigeria. It will be very, very uncomfortable for you to confirm or hear when uh, Wadume, the arrested kidnapper, will be telling you that it was the army who released him while he was trying to run away. So this is quite worrying. So probably there are something new that we don't know. Maybe that will make all the findings of the last com uh, conference obsolete. And so we need a quick and immediate solution to some of these particular problems that are disturbing us.